a warm greeting to one and all present here. This is Sai Pooja, the MC for the day. It's a pleasure to welcome you all the in, to the doctor. Dr. Nirmala Prasad Endowment Lecture, conducted by the Department of Bank Management. I request Mrs. Praveen Ma'am, Assistant Professor, Department of Bank Management, to give the welcome address. A dream becomes a goal when action is taken towards its achievement. Good morning and a warm welcome to one and all to Dr. Mrs. Nirmala Prasad Endowment Lecture organized by the Postgraduate Department of Banking and Insurance Management and Department of Bank Management. This is such a special moment for the department. Today, it is an opportunity for, for us to reflect on the past and pay tribute to the one who is and has given us the reason to have joined here Dr. K. Nirmala Prasad. It is the moment to pay tribute to the memories of an exemplary educationist with outstanding virtues. Dr. Nirmala Prasad's illustrious career had a golden foundation when she won a gold medal in her master's in commerce and completed her doctorate in commerce from the prestigious University of Madras. She was the professor and founder head of the postgraduate and research department of commerce at Dutch college for women we the department of bank management feel proud when we say that madam nirmala prasad was the institutor of our department as well after her 21 years in itraj she took the reins of mop vaishnav college in 1997 in 2013, still she retired, she was the principal there who raised the college to its current glory. We got the opportunity to express our endless love and the respect to the great leader and an even great teacher when she blessed us with her presence during our Silver Jubilee celebration. We were extremely happy when she bestowed us with an amount of rupees 50,000 to organize lectures. Not long ago enough, after that, she left us, leaving a celebrated legacy behind. Her name will always be taken during any reflection on country's finest educators. This day, we have amidst us a personality who is true, true to say saying that all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Dr. Sindhamarai Gokula Krishnan, lead, gender parity, CII, IWN, Tamil Nadu, Chennai, has pursued our dreams and has set a benchmark for all enterprises. Dr. Sindhamarai, alumna of ISB holds bachelor degree in commerce, and general law, a diploma in software technology, certified financial planner, women entrepreneur executive management program of Goldman Sachs and ISB, and privileged to be a part of fully funded ambassador program of ISB, and graduated as ISB ambassador. Prior to becoming an entrepreneur, she has spent more than 10 years in banking within the retail sales segment in various leadership roles with the best of both world experience in corporate and business she purposefully fuses her personal life experience with her professional expertise to inspire empower and equip her intention and intensity to help people pursued her to kickstart her entrepreneurship journey Based on her experience in business planning, operations management, people management, digital transformation, she helps business and individuals in strategy, planning, business modeling, creating and implementing innovative marketing strategies 
through the right mix of medium, content, and research. Over the year, Dr. Sindam Rai has been recognized by various institutions and won multiple business awards, some of which are Face of Madras Popular Stylist 2015, Among the Top 10 Fashion Designer of Tamil Nadu by Life and Trends 2016, Serial Entrepreneur Award for the year 2017 by Women Power Media, Exceptional Women of Excellence from Women Economic Forum 2018, Women Leadership Award from World Marketing Forum 2019, Women Achiever Award 2020 from India 5000. Banker turned successful woman entrepreneur, Sindamari is the co-founder of Beta Mox and the founder of Arag. She runs clothing to software service ventures with more than 200 employees, our quest to excel and change lives made her to come out of the comfort of corporate world and start her entrepreneurial journey. She believes in inspiring others to aspire for more in life and business. And it's passion about monitoring in minds and women on that journey and inspiring them to take up entrepreneurial journey. On behalf of the staff and students of the Department of Bank Management, we extend a warm welcome to you, ma'am. We take this opportunity to thank the management of the college who support, motivate us to do the best and beyond. I welcome our dear principal, Dr. S. Kodai, principal and secretary, Itraj College for Women. I also welcome Dr. Usha Rani, vice principal aided, who encourages us in all our endeavors. I cordially welcome Mr. Prasad, and Madhumita Prasad, family members of Dr. Mrs. Nirmala Prasad, who have honored us with their presence. I welcome Dr. Mrs. Jodi Kumaravil, former principal and head of the Department of Commerce. It's my pleasure to welcome Dr. S. Asaranya, head, Department of Commerce, who has the best interest of the department in heart and who is always there for us. Affectionate greeting to our dearest Usha ma'am, who leads by example. I always welcome the teachers from the other department of our college. With pleasure, I welcome my department teachers. I extend a lovely welcome to dear students on this occasion. With wishing for an illuminating lecture, thank you ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Now I request the chief guest and the speaker of the day, Dr. Sentamare Gokulakrishnan, Lead Gender Parity, CII IWN, Tamil Nadu, to take us through an insightful session on the topic, Enable Your Dreams in the Digital World. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is my privilege to be talking on this. In honor to be part of uh, Dr. Mrs. Nimla Prasad enrollment lecture. And uh, thank you so much for having me here. And uh, thank you so much, the, the, the department, the faculties, uh, the HOD principals, and the management for uh, coming up with these kind of lectures, which will benefit the students at large. So uh, uh, today, uh, let me start the uh, lecture uh, with a couple of questions. So we can use the chat board, I mean chat box here, and uh, I would like you to answer before we uh, go on with the presentation. So, what is your dream? Who is that you want to be? If you can just use the chat box and uh, you know, leave your comments there. What is your dream? Because this is so relevant to what we are talking today, what we are going to talk today. So, what is your dream? What is that you want to become in the next future or next five years down the line? Uh, the chat box is open, right? You can say like, no, what do you want to become like, no, maybe next five years down the line when you finish your graduation, what is that chartered account on? Lovely. Yeah. What is?
generally when i ask this question okay i get a lot of answers like no I either i want to do my high studies or like no i want to become an auditor as she rightly said or i want to like do something on the own so the, the passion generally comes out you know generally what is that they want to do so uh, that's the one thing what i want to start off with saying uh, let me just open my screen while i'm talking just a little bit here so that brings me to the today's topic of enable your dreams in the digital world or knowing who you want to be tomorrow so this is so very important in today's time and that is why i took up this topic so why are we even topic talking about this now that to during this corona period you know we had lot of these lockdowns and just we have opened up so why are we even talking about this right now let me tell you so the idea is to prepare ourselves and to get ready to realize our dreams in this rapidly changing present and future okay when i say change uh, i am not talking about bc versus ad or like you but i'm talking about the last two decades uh, when i did my graduation some 25 years back uh, the career opportunities were very limited uh, coming from my commerce background all i could think of is either becoming a chartered accountant or a company secretary or uh, getting into banking which i eventually did uh, or take up some job in you know in the accounts department or become an accountant so this is the maximum what i could think of 25 years back but now look at the career options in front of you so many new career opportunities have actually opened up and uh, right now the career growth is never a straight line or it has never been so uh, you no know, there's so much of change is happening and uh, you no know, and this change is actually happening at a very exponential rate this is not true 50 years back i've just given an example of like you no know, uh, alexander graham bell and the way telephone came into existence uh, if you see this is uh, even the last 10 years down the line change was like you no know, very very gradual but uh, it took almost 75 years to uh, reach a modern telephone from graham bell's invention no to till now but these technical advancements are currently happening within years just in couple of years you get lot of inventions happening okay this change you can see in every field and across the sectors it is not just telephone the entire lifestyle is actually changing and evolving for better digital technologies actually have evolved so quickly that you no know, it has fundamentally changed the way the world looks uh, or the uh, uh, the way world works so let us uh, discuss this in detail with couple of you no know, very good examples one is with respect to like you no know, i i like the this ola uber the the cab facility more let me tell you why earlier if i wanted to book a cab okay so uh, the main option what i had maybe 10 15 years down the line was like you no know, calling a fast track okay i don't know how many people still remember fast track or we have used fast track but uh, we had to make numerous calls to them trying to locate where the cab is and like you no know, uh, whether they have reached the destination but look at us right now we have your ola uber and lot other you know facilities where you know you, you can the best part is you can even track them at your convenience thanks to technology right and uh, when we talk about travel when i had to travel overseas or like you no know, even outstation we had to uh, you know if you are planning for a vacation uh, we had to reach uh, the local consultants or travel agents to be precise to make our travel plan right today if i have to travel or we have to travel all you have to do is just log into internet and you have like you no know, make my trip yatra what else clear trip red bus whatever it is there just the click of button not only you can book your tickets but also your accommodation and all the other related things together at one one single shot okay convenience right and this is possible this was made possible with technology okay just keep your lifestyle aside when you talk about job opportunities when we look for like applying for a job we had to search newspapers this classifieds it's still there but like no how many people even look at the classifieds we had this yellow pages okay where you used to go and search whether it's an accountant job whether it's going to be a clerical job or maybe an accountant so there's so much of columns it was some 30 40 pages of like no thing which used to come every week so we used to search dig the yellow pages for our uh, job related uh, no uh, uh, classified ads but now if you need to apply for a job or search for a job there's so much of uh, job portals available right 
okay it is just so become so convenient and it has enabled easy accessibility of whatever we need information is right there on the internet okay like this every other sector has gone through tremendous changes and has opened up new career opportunities so the older jobs are actually getting replaced with new ones so let us talk a little bit about data because i like data so in recent uh, you no know, studies world economic forum this predicted that we will need to reskill more than 1 billion people by 2030 which is not very far away just 9 years down the line so uh, this will apply to your current jobs what we have right now as well as those which is going to come up okay so 1 billion people 1 billion people have to be reskilled and it also predicted that you know half of the current skills what we have right now we require to you know uh, uh, the current skills required to the existing jobs will change in the next couple of years it can't be the same so as i said earlier change are occurring at an exponential rate and we need to get future ready so are we all ready okay um, i will give you one more data before we actually proceed okay this is very interesting which i liked and i wanted to share with you there has been a recent survey with 100 hr uh, you know uh, chief hr officers across and uh, it was conducted by harvard business review and the predictions what they shared were very interesting okay which i wanted to share today what they said is the following will be the future hr roles which i have just shared couple of them over here one is a chatbot coach they are responsible for creating seamless candidate experience okay when you talk about like a candidate walking into my office and you know whatever they go through that experience uh, for that there is there is chatbot which is coming up and for that uh, they have to train the chatbots so basically the job responsibility will be training the chatbots okay the next interesting one which is going to come up is hr data detective okay what is the job responsibility of this person is they will collect the employee data okay they will collect the learning data all the your educational certificates and kind of stuff and then the business data that is your work experience and they try to track if there is any mismatch that is the job responsibility of this uh, hr data detective and the next interesting one what i saw is human bias officer okay who is basically responsible for mitigating bias across all business functions and like this there's a lot more interesting future job opportunities which are coming up so are we ready to take it up that you need to say okay so uh, now you're all in your college days and you know you're doing your graduation so once you complete your graduation what are the opportunities in front of you okay uh, as i asked you in the beginning of the session either you will start working for some corporate okay or start something you know start your own venture these are the major ones apart from the they say that they want to do their higher studies eventually after your higher studies you will have to do this right so i'm just leaving that option aside and getting married of course i will not even consider that being in your uh, being a career oriented lady so uh, these are the broad things so when i talk about opportunities i would refer this quote here don't wait to climb the ladder instead create your own path so if in case you wish to evolve in your career a little faster then create your own path and entrepreneurship is the way forward is what i would say okay so when we talk about opportunities let us first discuss about the job opportunities okay when you finish your graduation whatever major you are in right now when you finish your graduation or when you get into thing there are a lot of regular job opportunities which are available right now which i am not going to discuss but there are very new things which is actually come up which is very interesting like you know uh, data science your mathematician your statistician uh, actuary since we we have insurance also part of it which is nothing but insurance risk management so i am information security analyst which is all like to the happening uh, the opportunity job opportunities which are available right now and if you see all these options all these above opportunities mathematics is the, you know it, it plays a very important role okay in the world of ai and data science and that is the future that is the future of technology and the digital space where we are living in right now okay so uh, now assuming you want to start something on your own okay which i will say yes you should be so uh, assuming you are starting your entrepreneurship venture there are a lot of opportunities and i would like to highlight maybe uh, you know very top few which you can relate to apart from your technology apart from your ai ml and data science apart from that which you can relate to is uh, you know uh, in the areas of financial services media uh, you have your education 
food and water okay so when you when you actually talk about uh, financial services you can uh, uh, look at buildings better ways to save and invest money because everybody is earning but on the end of the day people are looking at new ways new avenues of how we can save and invest money which can give us better returns better safe returns so there's always an option available over there okay next is media okay now luckily after corona a lot of things have changed after this pandemic so this new ott's platform is actually getting so much of attention so uh, no if in case you take a media if you're interested in doing something on a media you can look at new ways of content de delivery okay which is very interesting and then if you talk about education okay personalized education delivery is going to be the future of education okay people are looking at one on one kind of uh, education in fact i was there in 2020 no 2019 uh, i i am they were talking about future of education and this is exactly what they were talking about so two years down the line we are still talking about how we can give this personalized education to students let it be your school college whatever education stream we are in that is one topic of discussion which is always there so look at something if you can build something around that area okay and uh, there are huge opportunities in solving like you know this water problem water problem food problem there is a lot of you uh, know avenues open over there if you can solve this social problem then nothing like it okay so likewise you have opportunities in every field in every sector so these are highly fundable opportunities i'm not like just talking about uh, the avenues which is open right now but fundable opportunities which investors related to your venture capitalists or your angel investors are currently looking at okay so if you want to start up getting into entrepreneurship these are one of the broad ideas which you can actually look at okay so uh, if you can crack them since we spoke about opportunities okay uh, there's so much of opportunities and i'm sure you girls can figure it out but uh, there are opportunities available to everyone assuming there are some 500 students or 500 people who are listening or tuned in right now these opportunities are available to all the 500 people right in respect of which uh, department you belong to in respect of like you know, whether it's the same class same year whatever you are in wherever you are in this is available to all the 500 or all the people who are right now doing it so how are you going to ensure you grab them and realize your dream that is something very interesting so uh, let us talk about uh, that now okay so for a moment think of an egg okay uh, from a little hummingbird uh, no hummingbird egg to an ostrich egg okay it's all the same white shell right round white shell okay for people that is for the you know the society this shell is our education okay whatever medium you are in right now this shell is your education it is your accomplishments your a track record your resume whatever you want to call it as whatever you want to call this name it but uh, a lot of us are actually attached to this shell okay and this becomes our identity which is not okay we tend to forget about the yolk which is actually inside the egg okay the yolk the golden center that is our dna that is what determines how each egg is unique and that is your blueprint okay i always say this because everybody is unique everybody is unique all the five fingers are not the same every student is unique so you have something you know within you which you need to identify and that is exactly where you know i'm coming to so how do you create your blueprint okay i'll give you some tips okay i'm not here to lecture on that but i'm just going to give you some tips which you can identify your own blueprint or create your own blueprint okay so uh, only two things will help you create your blueprint and face that reality or face your dream or get into your dream job or to get into your dream career okay so one is lifelong learning okay which is nothing but staying curious okay if you see me i've always been curious about learning new things okay every day it's a learning opportunity even today i would be looking at learning something new from me so uh, staying curious will help you stay ahead of the learning curve and allow you to access to new opportunities in the evolving business world in evolving digital business world okay and constantly ask yourself what skills it can be it can be your hard skills it can be your soft skills which will define success in your workplace in whatever workplace you want to okay so try to identify those skills and the other one is crafting your own personal brand which is very 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 crucial right now which is very important 
continuously crafting and curating your digital presence and most importantly keep it real okay so many people i see there is no authenticity there is no honesty in you no know, their, their digital uh, 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 profiles what they maintain so try to be honest try to be transparent try to be authentic and you know that is going to differentiate you from others in the long run and uh, let me tell you you never get uh, a second chance to make your first impression right so make it one that will set you apart from your uh, competitors or maybe your you know job applicants and you know build trust and reflect who really you are if it's going to be vasanthi who is really vasanthi is what should be reflecting on your digital presence okay so when uh, we spoke about learning so a little bit more on the learning okay when i sell i when i say learning okay let me be very clear here i'm not talking about your education i'm not talking about your curriculum but uh, not even marks okay but here i'm talking about learning about the industry okay which you want to build your career knowing what is the new happening in your industry if you want to get into photography please know what is happening in the photography industry okay the, the, the latest things happening there the latest cameras just come up the lighting all this related to what industry you want to get into right okay so learn the skills and be the master at your industry and try to make network possibilities with your industry experts okay this is very important which i always say try to connect with people who are already established in your industry okay all these people like me are readily available for you to like know uh, our experiences you don't have to do the same mistake what we did so try to learn from these industry experts before you uh, know uh, and you uh, know each interaction with them will uh, lead you to learn secrets of the industry which you want to get into and connect to experts through social media because all these people are available on their linkedin or on maybe on your their facebook or whatever twitter so try to connect with them and if possible in person who can make you know who can help you uh, you know uh, make your future happen or make your dreams come true so learn from them and if you uh, uh, actually analyze every successful entrepreneur or uh, maybe a industry leader or maybe a corporate person uh they learn things million times faster than others okay this helps them to foresee the upcoming changes coming up and also build on it and that's how lot of great inventions have happened so try to learn from uh, your surrounding and also from industry leaders corporate leaders to be very precise so uh, before i move on simple mantra over here is learn faster okay which is very important learn from experts okay instead of your books i will always say because uh, uh, practically lot of things actually evolve lot of things are change uh, rather than your you no know, theoretical knowledge so learn from experts and learn from practically doing it okay whatever you learn try to apply you know in your real life in your life and then see that is learning from your experience okay built on your experience okay that is a simple matter of what i wanted to share with you and i will move on to something very interesting which i will always share because creating your identity or creating your own brand is actually going to define you and it's actually going to uh, uh, get you closer to realizing your dreams right so i would like to uh, talk a little a little bit more about branding okay so these personalities not only them okay if you see one common thing it will be uh, no our abdul kalam or you know shainas or uh, jayalalitha you know corporate if you have no uh, uh, kiran mazumdar or if it's entertainment mr b not only them mahatma gandhi nelson mandela uh, elon musk ratan tata the name goes on and on all these you know famous personalities or corporate leaders okay they all had a strong personal brand right okay their brands help them to make a memorable impression and uh, you no know, stand out in whatever they did watch whichever field uh, you know they were it let it be your corporate let it be your uh, you no know, politics let it be your entertainment let it be your like you no know, uh, business people whatever they were okay they had a very strong personal brand okay they left a memorable impression and that is because of their brand okay so uh, what is brand what is a personal brand so personal brand is everything that you bring to the table 
okay it helps you to position yourself uh, and stand um, uh, stand out among your peers and job applicants this i always say this is very important because uh, when i met i have almost 200 people on, in my company and when i meet one candidate okay for one particular role i at least meet 10 to 15 candidates for one role okay so why should one person hire you rather than like to take another person okay it might be the same become it might be the same bba it might be the same hr okay you might be having the same qualification same skill set why do i hire you okay that is because of your personal brand okay it's the story what you create among you know about yourself okay that helps you stand out so that is why personal branding becomes so very important in this current digital world okay so personal branding this this establishes your personal image about who you are what you can do for me and also communicates to your employers whether or not you will be the right fit for the role what i'm going to take you in so it's basically your passion okay your values your skill set and most important your purpose okay what you are that that really is important okay so this is very interesting what i what i want to share okay when you may say when we generally talk about personal brand it is all about you okay it's about what you say what you think okay what you put on social media how you interact on social media uh, how you interact online offline okay everything put together that is your personal brand so basically you are your brand okay your brand is a blueprint nobody else can copy your brand okay it is as unique as your thumb impression right okay so your personal brand is uh, it's ultimately not about you it's a perception others have of you okay based on the value what you leave behind so you cannot ultimately control the perception can i con uh, control what people think about me no i can't do that but i can certainly influence that okay and that is if you can create a very strong personal brand okay so uh, before you even think of marketing yourself okay let me tell you first try to identify who you are okay what sets you apart from the rest okay that is how unique are you okay what is your strength okay what am what, what am i good at what am i passionate about and what is my value okay right what kicks you to get up in the morning that's your value okay why should people be interested in you in what you offer okay that is more important so you have to ask these questions to yourself and try to find an answer answer educate your network you know on your value what is that you can bring to the table and uh, ask your friends let me give you a quick example here if you are a, a strong writer okay use blogs or uh, social media platforms to express what you are what you can capable of writing so that's a very interesting thing because when you go to an employer uh, you can show these blogs you can refer to your social media and say look hey, this is what i have done okay you can check my work these are the uh, uh, impressions what i have got these are the audience what i have built in these are the engagement which has happened so you have ready data to show okay so one of the best methods to make uh, someone work is to uh, uh, make them work a job they enjoy uh, i would like to quote one uh, here uh, uh, no quote here from uh, confess uh, uh, confucius sorry you used to say choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life which is very true and i really personally can relate to it apply this mindset uh, when determining how your brand will look like okay don't leave your ideal field of work in pursuit of something that is not even favorable to you okay i see a lot of people in corporate ladder just because they work in something because of their salary they're not satisfied they're not like happy in their current thing so please do what you want to do for that you need to know what are you good at right okay so uh, very important thing we spoke about branding we spoke about your job opportunities but how do you create your personal brand lot of people know what they have to do but they don't know how to do okay there are just three simple steps over here discover your identity okay first is uh, when you uh, when i say discover it is like you no know, your persona your promise okay and create your brand story uh, whether corporate or whether it's going to be a uh, 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 personal people love stories okay that the stories will be always there in your mind so try to build a good brand story among you know about you that will actually stand out 
okay uh, so uh, first on let me talk a bit about discovering your identity before i you know tell you how to craft it okay how do you dif- uh, uh, identify your persona persona is nothing but who are you okay and what qualities make you you okay it can be your core values it can be your characteristics it can be your passion okay so uh, try to identify who you are okay and your unique selling points i always say this as usp or maybe your value proposition that is like no your promise okay what what is that you can do for them okay and once you identify this then uh, how does someone benefit from working with you okay it, it is what sets you apart from the others so try to combine your persona your promise and also create a story that tells your target audience this is what santamrai is this is what nirmala is this is what unika is so that's your brand story okay once you identify who you are the rest becomes very easy for you okay next step is crafting your identity how do you craft your identity first is define how you want people to view you professionally okay and assess where you are today okay for example if i wanted to become a fashion designer okay i wanted people to remember me remember me as a fashion designer okay so i worked towards that because i was a self taught fashion designer so one year i had put so much of hard work just to get to that place okay so uh, uh, if you see last one year i have not taken a big assignments but people remember me as a fashion designer so even yesterday i got a call from a you uh, know a director saying akka i have a new project coming up the puja is in 15 days i want you work as a fashion designer we want only you as a fashion designer i have not remember i have not done any recent work for last one year thanks to covid i have not done anything recently but when there is an opportunity people remember you and they want only you because that is the brand what i have left behind my work talks for me right okay so uh, so defining how you want people to view you professionally is very important number 2 is define how you want to use each of these networks whatever you have okay then is make a list of the actions you want to take to get there okay what all you need to do if in case you want to reach that particular position and then define your social self which is nothing but both your professional uh, profile and also your personal personal profile it has to match it has to coincide otherwise there's no meaning in you no know, building your personal brand and last how do you communicate your brand okay select the respective platform see when i uh, always say if you are uh, uh, getting into a, a corporate or you no know, if you want to work for a corporate getting to linkedin okay if you want to reach more people with your work if you want to get into a professional uh, like maybe a photography or maybe a videography or whatever professional field you want to get in see where your target audience are available it can be facebook it can be insta so try to see your relevant platform and sell yourself there make yourself available in that particular platform and that will reach you to your existing target audience okay so uh, personal branding this is a very slow process let me tell you it takes its own time okay but you have to do it continuously don't expect some changes to happen overnight some you know write a blog and let me you expect some you know thousand views million views no it is not going to happen it will take time and again building a strong brand is a choice if you don't want to it's perfectly fine but personal branding uh, uh, this leaves you yourself open to being like you no know, labeled as like you no know, they didn't they don't even know what is your identity they don't even know what you are you will be just one more job applicant you will be just one more startup right whatever you one more doctor one more auditor okay whatever profession you choose to be but if you have a strong brand okay that takes a lot of time effort money energy but that creates a very strong personal brand defining who you are okay so uh, be yourself okay because rest everybody is taken i would like to uh, conclude with a small message okay to be in successful in whatever you do i say i always say whatever career whatever profession whatever uh, you no know, uh, uh, thing you want to do okay first know who you are okay what is your dream what's your passion okay what are you uh, passionate about okay and then craft your identity okay just in right platforms in right methods right mediums create or craft your identity and 
keep inventing yourself invent reinvent and stay relevant okay you can't be outdated because things are evolving i just showed you a couple of examples of how we have evolved or how we are going to evolve by 2030 and you can't be outdated you can't still stuck onto the same old methods of like no 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 this is what i will do no you can't you have to keep updating yourself in this digital age and uh, upskill yourself okay when we spoke so much about learning 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 is not just your curriculum or your graduation you have so much of time right now and so much of online courses available your coursera udemy udacity there's so many courses which you can learn in fact spoke about lot of new things which is going to come up remember there is no technology involved there is no like no data science doesn't require that 100% technology in fact i did my software and i run a software company and no technology is just one portion if you can understand the customer if you can just give a great user experience and look at what things you know around you and i'm sure you can succeed in whatever you do okay so thank you so much for the opportunity and i'm sure uh, we will catch up soon on some other occasion so uh, i'll stop sharing the screen right now and uh, over to pravina ma'am thank you thank you ma'am that was indeed an insightful session as to how we can utilize the digital world even at the time of crisis now i call upon neha associate secretary of department of bank management to give the vote of thanks good afternoon to one and all present here i deem it a great honor and privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this memorable occasion let me first start by giving glory to the almighty god for making today's session a resounding success i thank our chief guest and speaker dr santamari gokula krishnan ma'am lead gender parity cii iw and tamil nadu for sharing her wisdom on the topic enable your dreams in the digital world the session was not only insightful but interactive too thank you ma'am for motivating us to explore new opportunities in various fields of work especially during a pandemic i'm sure ma'am our students will create a new path for themselves and identify their blue i'm thankful for the unstinted support given by dr mrs s podai principal and secretary at raj college for women and dr mrs d b usha rani vice principal aide at raj college for women i thank dr mrs t usha priya ma'am vice principal self supporting and head of the department of bank management for her able guidance and support all throughout i owe special gratitude to mrs pravina ma'am for organizing this exceptional session My heartfelt thanks to the faculty of the department for their valuable contribution and encouragement in all our efforts. This department acknowledges with profound love and affection the contribution of late Dr. Mrs. Nimla Prasad Ma'am, without whom this session would not have been possible. Last but not the least, I thank the students for joining us in this insightful session. Thank you. <laughs>